the name of Jesus Christ by the number around this country. Souls receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Constantly being added daily throughout America and across the Atlantic and the South Pacific, regardless of where you are. This message is opening up people understandings more. I'm getting thousands of letters constantly. People who listening at this message in the 60s and 70s and 80s writing me and many of them have said the same thing. Where have you been all of our life? Many is writing. Never heard a message like this. We baptized a gentleman last week in Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe is about four, five, and maybe six hours, I, I believe, from New Orleans, who was a Baptist for 45 years. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are grateful. One scripture says, this is the message. We are living in a time now that the human family have a strong dislike towards God. Whether they profess to be Democrat or Republicans, they have the same hatred towards God. They have took a biblical subject of homosexuality and made it a political subject. That's right. And now America and other countries around the world want to make it legal. I was listening over the air now. They said 70%, 70, 7 and 0, 70% of the people of America are for same-sex marriages. Lord. And you know who's included in this percentage? Lord. You church people. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. You church people, you shiny nail preachers. Yeah. You cross-wearing preachers, you ponytail Christians. Yeah. You tattooed Christians. Amen. You Christians that got gold all on your teeth with a star on it. Right. And a diamond in your mouth. Yeah. They condone it. So the devil more and more is making television programs that include yeah. the relationship with two men. That's right. The objective is to influence and cause everyone to be attracted and subduced and conned by the media. You that's in this religion called Christianity, you condone same-sex marriages. Some of you politicians that's fighting, there's a politician, I believe, in the state of Indiana. The governor or mayor? Is it the governor? And he's standing against it. And he's getting pressure for Mary Ann. Don't misunderstand me. I believe the homosexual should be able to work in any place of employment. We're not talking about his or her skill as a doctor or a lawyer or a policeman, or a contractor, or an architect. No, uh-uh. We dealing with an abominable behavior Amen. that have nothing to do with your architectural skill. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, have nothing to do with your painting talent, Amen. or your ability as a uh, school teacher, or one that teach theology and philosophy and homiletics and chemistry and uh, rocket science and all no no we ain't talking about none of that let us make our stand clear we believe the homosexual have a right to work in any company in the world and eat in any restaurant of the world and hold any occupation that is in society yeah. 
but we don't believe in the behavior of two men. Yeah. All right, listen. That's right. Brother Eli and Brother Black, come up here, brother, and stand right here. Come on, brothers. Stand right here. Facing me, you know. Or just to the side. That way you can get me in the camera. Now, you're fighting so two men can marry. Some of you pulpit bums are preachers. Go ahead. White preachers, black preachers, yellow preachers, and brown. Some of you are condoning it because your son is homosexual. Some of you are condoning it because you have homosexuals in your congregation. Some of you are condoning it because you're afraid to say anything because your boss. Yeah. Your employer is a homosexual. Right. You don't want to say nothing at the job because your job has this rainbow sticker. Amen. Or rainbow flag. Yes, and so you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb. You want to be quiet. Many of you apostolics, you have turned. And now you want the deacon to marry the trustee. Lord. God made woman, woman for the man. Did he not? Yes, he did. Now, for you that have trouble hearing, you, you, you come over here, brother. You come over here, just stand over there. Now, this is what God made. Come, come here, Sister Jennings. This is what the Lord made. God made the woman. Notice the difference in how we look. Notice the difference in how we're built. That's right. Are you listening to me? God made the woman for the man. Now, when these two come together, this is what you're able to do. Come here, Sierra. When these two come together, this can come forth. Get up. Come here, Malcolm. Come on, son. When these two come together, then she can have another one one of these. <laughs> All right, you get what I'm telling you. But, but, when these two come together, these two, it may be some friction. Yeah. But they're not designed. To produce. That's right. It is that behavior that we're talking about. We're not talking about your job. A homosexual got the right to be a doctor, a lawyer, a surgeon, any area in the job market. He should not be fired because he's a homosexual. Because you didn't hire him because he's a homosexual. You hire him or her based upon their talent and their skill. So to fire them because of that, that is a form of discrimination. But because they hire you, you don't have the right to force your lifestyle. Go ahead. Talk to me. You don't have the right to force your lifestyle in your place of employment. You homosexual employers, because one of your employees refused to accept your rainbow style of life, 
That's their right. You don't fire no one because they don't believe in homosexuality. A man and a woman that don't believe in homosexuality is a man and a woman that respect God. Talk to me. Talk to me. That's a man and a woman that respects God. Brothers, be seen. All right, listen. So this governor in Indiana is taking heat. Even Charles Barkley. See me, I don't care who you are. He said that the governor was wrong. Who would ever think? That man, grown, mustache, beard wearing men, will be so hateful. And you fellas said that same sex marriages and being homosexual is equal to the civil rights. That's it. Someone as far as saying as being homosexual or fighting for homosexual rights is just like being in black. No. And you dumb black fools Amen. had the audacity to agree to it. Yeah. Black no, 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 no. is not a behavior. White is not a behavior. Brown. Not a behavior. No. I was born a black man. I didn't request to be it. God made me like I am. There is no such thing. He's acting black. Black is a color. It is not a behavior. But homosexuality is a lustful behavior oh yeah it's a lustful behavior yes. and you movie stars and talk show hosts and pulpit buzzards Go ahead. Go ahead. you low lives that carry the bible yeah. you men that are watching me i don't care if you in the mosque if you believe in homosexuality, you ought to be thrown out the mouth and the Quran should be taken from your hands. Yeah. You men that say you're rabbis yeah. that endorse homosexuality should be put out of the synagogue and the Torah taken from your hands. Amen. You so-called Christian preachers that stand in your pulpit and justify homosexuality, you should be thrown out of your pulpit and the Bible taken out of your hands. Man, you will call it gay bashing. God didn't make a man for a man. I don't care how you put it. Every Democrat, every Republican, every imam, every rabbi, every old preacher who believe in homosexuality, you are a traitor. That's right. You are you have committed treason. That's right. Against God. That's right. You out there that want to wear the title Christian and say you like Christ, you ain't like Christ. Christ did not endorse homosexuality. I had someone write me and tell me that Christ didn't preach that a uh, man got to have a woman. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Christ plainly said, let a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. Isn't that what Jesus said? That's what he said. That's what he said. 
what he said. But Satan, yeah. it's Satan doing. Yes, it is. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis. Then give me the book of Jasher. Jasher. Yeah. I want to break down Solomon and Gomorrah. Yeah. I had no tickets on working on this, but I had someone watch the telecast and they thought that we use a teleprop. <laughs> teleprop can't keep up with us. No. My only teleprop is the word of God. That's it. God have never purposed for two men to get married. Never did. Never did. And I want all of you judges that are watching, because I know you judges are watching a very nationality. Any of you judges that uh, will marry two men and give them a license, and you two men that think you married, or you two women that think you married, you're not married. That's forgery. Yes, it is. It is God that made the law of marriage. That's right. And I want to say to you, I got a letter from Jamaica. The citizens of Jamaica wrote me and told me, Pastor Jennings, would you please, would you please speak out against the homosexuality that's taking place here in Jamaica because the government of Jamaica, uh, it, it, they're being pressured, I'm told, by Great Britain and America. And to you that are watching, this is what America is doing. America is trying to put pressure on all countries and trying to force homosexuality upon them. And if they refuse to uh, condone homosexuality, then America want to sanction them mm -hmm. and want to get other countries to, san to sanction them. Mm -hmm. This goes to show you that America is a country of whoremongers. Yeah. America is a wicked country. Amen. America is a country that seeks only a few in America fear God now. That's right. Because a person go to church, that don't mean they fear God. No. If you claim you're a Christian and you believe in homosexuality, you don't fear God. Amen. You the grown men who claim they're straight. And yet have no problem with two men getting married. No All right, let's deal with this mm -hmm. with the Bible. I want this to be good. I want this to be good. Now, the homos I had somebody ask me, Pastor Jenny, what would you do if homosexuals came to first church? They have. Yeah. And they're here now. Yeah. This is where they should be. Right. So I can pull the, the, the sting out of the hive. That's right. They need to be here. They need to be here. That way they can be around this salt. Right. And the sugar can fall off of them. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't use sugar here. The homosexual is welcome. Amen. But if you try at any time Hallelujah. to lure someone Go ahead. into your lifestyle, Amen. to influence someone that your lifestyle is right, mm -hmm. then the homosexual got to go. That's right. The Bible says this, put such a one out of your midst. So yes, the homosexual is welcome. Everywhere I travel in the world, homosexuals come. Yeah. They know what we stand for. It's not like we're going to change. No, no. I don't care how popular you are, how famous you are, who you may be in America. You are not more famous than God. That's right. I bow to God. I don't bow to politicians. Amen. I bow to God. I don't bow to the government of America. Amen. America don't dictate what we say. No. America don't influence what we say. God influence what we say. That's right. When God speaks, we listen. That's and right. when we listen, we got to say what our master teacher have said. Amen. You get what I'm telling you? Oh, yeah. Now I want to deal with the homosexual issue, the issue from Genesis, and then I want to get the book of Joshua. Joshua, yes. amen. Listen good. In the book of Genesis, chapter 19, and we'll start reading at the first verse. All right, so I know some folks say, man, the moment he stood up, he stood up swinging. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just can't help yourself, you know. Amen. Thank God I got the devil right in view. Amen. Come on, son. And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Two angels came to Sodom. Mm -hmm. And Where did the word Sodom even come from? Sodom. In Sodom, mm -hmm. men were called Sodomites. Sodomites. Because Sodomites were committing sodomy. That's right. 
They were sodomizing. They were sodomizing each other. Each other. So Sodom. Sodomite. Sodom mm -hmm. is the name of the land. Yes. Sodomite is the people in the land. Right. Sodomizing is the act that's committed by the sodomite. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? That's right. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Listen. And there came two angels to Sodom at evening. Two angels came to Sodom at evening. And Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. Lot was there. And Lot seeing them rose up.